Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Cancers. How are you, my Cancers? Now, you know I'm using my Do Radley Valentine decks. I'm using Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. Whatever the message, my job, just deliver it. Okay? Okay. Um, remember, I talked about the 20th, 21st. There's some stuff going on that's going to make people a little cranky. So um, it doesn't mean that it's just going to stop on that 21st. So it will go, I think it'll go into the weekend, probably longer. So just be aware of some cranky people. Okay? Okay. Three cards are face down. The first two are reversed. So a little stronger energy. Pay attention here. Here we go. For my Cancers. Ooh, your eyes are opening up. You're seeing possibilities. You're seeing things that maybe you weren't even aware of. Now, this could be both, um, you know, well, I feel this is very good for you, but it may be something in a relationship that it's just like, oh my gosh, um, you know, I'm just kind of like, you're, you're just kind of stunned with it uh, in a kind of like, wow, I don't know what to really even think anymore. Or it could be one of those like, oh my gosh, this is great, great news. I kind of feel like it's both at the same time. I think it might be something that opens your eyes to a situation. Um, you know, maybe you've been finding that, um, I, you know, I'm not quite sure. I'm feeling like you've been finding that, that it's like, I feel like someone's skimming off the top. So you might have been finding some embezzlement. That word's coming to me. It's like they're skimming off the top. And so maybe money will be coming back to you that they there was some skimming off the top. Maybe you were paying too much for something. Um, and then, you know, they see this and then the refund comes. That type of energy here. But at the same time, it's also telling you, my cancers, as things start moving and changing and we're getting more and more into Aquarius season and into the age of, into an age of Aquarius you know, there's this thing about, you know, what I talked about with Saturn. There is more of an awareness of what is the reality and what is the illusion. And you can deal with the reality because there's been many times that that somebody has been trying to play sleight of hand with you and create illusion. And I think that's more the case of it. Whoever's been doing that, I think that um, that person may be actually found out, Okay. Whoever's been, I don't know, gaslighting you, I feel like that person could, that, that energy, is it a person? Is it your job? I'm not sure who that's coming from, but will be exposed. And it's like, kind of, you know, jaw dropping. Anyway, 12, so we have a 1, so new beginnings or a 10, transition to some choices with this. Bring it to 3, there's a celestial type of understanding. Also, Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel brings you news. Gabriel's the divine messenger. So you could be hearing news like I was just talking about. But it, it's one of these things that it opens your eyes. So look at things in a diff, from a different perspective. A temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself. So that's the really thing, too, is, you know, it, it's not so much that, well, it is important to be yourself, but I feel like there's a reclaiming of more and more of who you are, my Cancers. Okay? Okay. Next card, reversed. Release. So we have Archangel Gabriel. We have Archangel Azrael. So, you know, we have that one, again, energy. We have a three, again, what we talk about, add them together, four, some stability coming. So, you know, this, this is, you know, letting go so you can go forward. Letting go so you can go forward. You may have to, you know, even though this person or whatever the skimming of this is, you might just have to say, fine, you know what, you know, I'm starting anew. We're, we're just moving forward. Uh, it might be letting go. Again, it's letting go so you can move forward. Letting go so you can move forward. Okay. Again, remember Gabriel, remember Azrael. 
The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Letting go so you can move forward. Here, let's see what this last card says. Okay, so we have five. Five has some change energy. We have Archangel Sandalfin. So you have these five, well, five, you have these three Archangels in your corner, my Cancers. Things have to be happening. There's lots of high vibrations this weekend for you. Stay, stay above it. Stay, you know, stay in your integrity. Do all the good things with this. But there, I feel like this is also there, that this could also be something, well, th while this has a very traditional type of um, covering with this, I feel like this has some very law and order, some this is the way it is, this is the way it is. I feel like this is one of those, this is like line items. This is line item energy, and it's like this is this very contractual type of energy here also. You're going to have to tell me what this means to you. So, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So make sure you have people that support you around you, especially for this weekend, okay? Because, again, it's, it's like the awakening is, it's, the awakening is something that's very positive because you need to see what the reality is. And remember what I was saying, Saturn in Aquarius, that's going to be reality versus illusion. But it can be harsh. It can be harsh, especially if you trusted someone if they're, or trust, you know, whether that, and again, remember, relationships, work, job, career. So it could be someone or something you trusted. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could be, you know, someone in that way, or it could be home and family. So there could be a trust that, you know, that you just now, you see beyond it. You see underneath it. You see over it. You just see, you see the truth and reality of it. But again, I kind of feel like, with unity, with change, I feel like there's this contract type of thing. And it's like, it, it's and it's not so much it's a contract you're agreeing. It's just, it's like, this is what is going to be done. This is what's going to be done. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's pull one last card from Archangel Power Tarot Cards. Maybe maybe this will help, but you got lots of stuff going on here. You've got a lot of angels here for you. This one is reversed. Six of Ariel. Six of Ariel. Six number of man. Ariel is earth energy. Money coming in. Money coming in. Plans blossoming. Plans are becoming bigger. Now, Ariel is your Taurus. It's your Virgo. It's your Capricorn. Solid. Something, someone you can touch. Money coming in. I'm just getting money coming in. There's going to be some magical energy to that. There's going to be some spiritual energy to that. You have to you have to keep pulling that towards you and saying, yes, I want this also. Cover yourself, cloak of protection, make sure that you, you know, and then just reach out to these archangels and say, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, so material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So remember to always say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's, you know, awakening, release, unity. Again, that unity, it, it, it feels very contractual with me, with that. You know, it's like this is just the way it's going to be. And I'm kind of like, sign it. I don't mean for you. I feel like you sign it. Okay. Let me know my cancers. I know. I know you will. So anyway, let's go on here. What crystal or energy may be helpful for my cancers? Not reversed. Angel light. I have angel light right here. I love angel light. Here we go. Okay. So I have it with my uh, candles. I'm always worried when I go over there that I might burn myself. <laughs> anyway, angel light is angel communication. Well, you got three angels right there. Clairvoyance, you'll know, you'll know. Trust yourself during this time. Alignment, dream insights. Really, really strong stuff here. Um, movement here, lots of changing type of energy with this also. I know you had the five, which is change, positive, negative. It doesn't really matter. Changing, positive. But I do feel this is also my cancers. You standing more and more and more into your power. And I feel like the gaslighting is going to be 
recognized. It's going, I feel like there's going to be a, a light shined on the gaslighting. Anyway, my cancers, I'll take a moment, take a moment, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, and as always, my cancers, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.